In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save Webflow form submissions to a Google spreadsheet. So right here, I have this contact form. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to set up an automation which automatically listens to all of our Webflow form submissions. And whenever a new form submission occurs, then it will automatically take the data of the form submission. And with that form submission data, create a new row in our Google spreadsheet. And this is the spreadsheet right here. So you can see we have these individual columns and each of the columns corresponds to a field in our form. So we have the first name column, the last name, the phone column, the email column, and the amount column. Just like we have the first name, last name, email, phone, and amount input fields. If your form has different input fields, then obviously you have to create different columns for each of the individual input fields. To build all of this today, we're going to use an automation tool called make.com. You can go to the website make.com and then either log in or create an account. They also have quite a generous free plan so you can get started here completely for free. Once you have created your account, you will be in your dashboard and up here at the top right, you can click on the purple button called create a new scenario. This means that we're creating a new automation. The first module in our automation is the trigger, so the event which starts the automation. For that, I search for Webflow, select the Webflow module. And there we have this section called Webhook, and we have the option to watch events, and it says triggers when one of the selected events occurs. So I select this, and then I get prompted and have to create a new Webhook. So I click this button, I have to create a new Webflow connection here. Click on add, save. And with this new connection, we now have to authorize make so that, that it can listen to the form submissions of my Webflow site. Select my site here, Webflow to spreadsheet. In your case, you just select your site where you want to connect make.com and where you want to run this automation. And then you click on authorize app at the bottom right. Okay, next I have to select a site ID. In this case, there's only one option because we only connected one site. And then I have to create a trigger type. In our case, we want to choose the form submission. So this is the event where we want to run the automation. And then I click on save. Now it's creating the webhook. Okay, and now the webhook has been successfully created and I click on okay. Now we have to do a quick test submission to show make what the structure of our form data looks like so that we can work with it in the following steps. And to do that, I can just click this button here down at the bottom left called run once. Then I go to the live website and quickly fill this out. So my name is Mike, last name Pecha, and just some dummy email address and phone number and an amount of items, just a random amount. And then I submit the form. And now we get a success message. Thank you, your submission has been received. So everything worked on Webflow's end. Let's also see if everything worked correctly on Make's end. Yes, we can now see that make received some data, as you can see here at the top with this one symbol. And if I click on this one uh, and click on this plus here of the data, you can see now I have access to all of the individual form fields and we can work with them. Okay, and now the next thing that we have to do is we have to add the Google Sheets module. So I click on plus, add another module, search for Google Sheets, here we go. And here it already says add a new row. So I select this. Then I have to create a connection. So I have to connect make to Google Sheets, just like we connected Webflow to Google Sheets so that we can authorize it to change the Google Sheet. We have to give the connection a name. In this case, I'm just going to leave it at the default, my Google connection. And then I click this blue button, sign in with Google. I select my account. and then click on continue and allow access. All right, now it has successfully created the new connection. Up here at the top, the search method, we leave it as it is. And the same with the drive, it automatically selected my correct Google Drive. Uh, if you want to connect a different Google Drive, you can obviously change that here. And then where it says spreadsheet ID, we don't actually have to type in an ID, Instead, you can just click this blue button, click here to choose file. And then you just get a list of all of your files that you have stored in your uh, Google 
sheets. And I'm just going to type in form submission because that's the name of my spreadsheet right here, form submissions. The sheet name, in my case, I only have one sheet. This refers to these sheets right here. So if you create a couple of sub sheets or something like that, you could select that. But in this case, this is, this is not relevant. Then the next option, table contains headers. We have to set that to yes. Because as you can see here, our Google Sheet has a header row. This is the header row where it says first name, last name, phone, email, and amount. In this row, we just identify the different columns and thus uh, this is the header row. So we have to set that to yes, otherwise it will not work. And now in the next section where it says values, we have access to the individual columns. So you can see column A, first name, column B, last name, C, phone, email, D, and amount E. But we also have access to additional columns that we are currently not using here. And now we can just map our form fields from the previous Webflow event step, form submission event step, to these individual columns. So for the first name column, I select the first name field from the form. For the last name column, I select the last name field from the form. Phone column, I select the phone field from the form. Email, I select the email field from the form. And amount, I select the amount field from the form. And then I click on OK. And now the basic functionality should be working. Let's run it once as a quick test. Now it is listening for events. And if I go to this site and reload it, I type in a new name, Mike test one, last name test one, test one at example.com and submit the form. Okay, we get the success message again. Let's have a quick look at the Google Sheets. And now you can see it just showed up. Mike test one, test one with our phone number right here and the email address and amount which I just entered. Perfect. So the basic integration is now fully functional. However, there's one more important thing that we have to do and that is we have to set up a filter. Because the problem with this Webflow event, the form submission event is, this will trigger on all form submission on your Webflow site. So this means if another form is triggered, this will also run. And this is not what we want. We only want to run this automation if our contact form is submitted. So the name of the form has to be contact form. And this is why I copy the name of this form right here. Go back to make. And then between the two modules, on the connection, there's this tool icon, which I select. And then you can set up a filter and the label of the filter, I give it the name only from contact form. And the condition is down here, sorry, up here, we have access to the name of the form. So in this case, it's called contact form. And the condition is equal to, and then we just paste the name of the form. In my case, it's called contact form. In your case, it might be called something else. You just paste the name of the form and then you click OK. So now this means whenever this automation runs, before it creates the new sheet, the new row in the Google Sheet, it will check if the submission came from the correct form. Otherwise, it will abort the automation. And now all we have to do is I have to click on this switch down here at the bottom to turn this on. We want to run the scenario immediately when new data arrives and click on OK and then I save this. And now our automation is live. And let's run another test to see if our filter works as well. So my name is Mike, last name test2 at example.com and then I submit the form. We get another success message and here inside of the Google spreadsheet, it just showed up. We now have another entry, a new row, Mike test to test at example.com. In my opinion, this Google Sheets integration is a really cool way to take your Webflow forms to the next level. And if you want to know another strategy, how you can take your Webflow forms to the next level, you can turn your Webflow forms into really cool multi-step forms. And I have created a video about this right here. You can click on it and watch it right now. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Mike. Have a great day. Bye.